Hello everybody, my name is Python GB and welcome back to the seventh episode of my Python Plays Terraria series. As you can see, we are currently inside of our house and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it's actually been a fair while since I've actually played on Terraria because, well, I've been on vacation. Obviously, you guys probably wouldn't have known that because I still had videos going out during that time, but uh, it's been a little over a week since I've played in this world and... Uh, don't know about you guys, but uh, I feel like taking a little bit of a break is a good thing to do because, you know, you could go ahead and come up with all kinds of awesome ideas, my friends. All kinds of awesome ideas. The ideas of which are going to involve us going ahead and starting the construction of the uh, sub wall or the great sub wall or... The Great Sub of Walls, the Great Wall of Subs. The Great Wall of Subs, that's what we're going to call it. There we go. It was suggested by many, many people. And yeah, that seems like the most appropriate name, to be honest. So, another thing we can do in this uh, episode is take down another Eye of Cthulhu, because obviously we have another suspicious looking eye. And uh, also, if we just go over here really quick. Hello, Gilbert. I'm going to sell this stuff. There we go. One gold, one gold, 50. Oh, don't sell that. I, I want that. <laughs> I need the bombs. Bombs are awesome. I wish I could buy gel. That'd be great. Mm, we don't have any gel on our world at the moment, which really does suck. If we could have, like, some slime rain or something, that would be absolutely fan dab a dozy But, uh, yeah, we're not going to have that kind of stuff happening, are we? No sorry. No sorry. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to quickly go ahead and start digging out some of this stuff. We will be using bombs for some of it, obviously in the places where I know we're not going to wind up blowing up the house. Then, yeah, we're going to go ahead and use uh, the good old uh, bombs. I love me some bombs. All right, here we go. So if I just do this, so if I just dig out sort of two layers of three rows, that should be enough to make sure the bombs don't sort of blow up the house, if you get what I mean, because, you know, blowing up the house is not something I want to have happen, because that'd be very, very stupid indeed, and I'd have to repair it, and it'll be, uh, it'll be so annoying. Right, okay, so, let's continue. Oh my god, I only have a silver pickaxe? Oh my god. I'm pretty sure I'm more ahead on my blooming expert mode let's play than I am on here. <laughs> this is weird. Don't I have a plan and pickaxe on my expert mode let's play? I cannot remember. Right, okay, so if I do that, uh, so one, two, three... Boom, and then maybe I could put another bomb down here or something. So let's just do this thing. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. Oh, look at that. See, look, look at look how quickly I just managed to dig out this entire room, dude. God damn. Okay, so I need to try to figure out the exact dimensions that I want to have for this uh, massive room down here. And obviously I need to come up with a design. I do already have a design in mind. Uh, it involves using these uh, lighter hardened sand blocks right here. So if we just go up here really quick. Oh, I do not have a grappling hook on this one. Hmm. I need to make that a goal, don't I? Yes, yes, indeed, indeed. That needs to be a thing that happens. Right, okay. And another hammer. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there's a lot of things we need to do today, my friends. Upgrades galore, I feel. Right, okay. Uh, boom. 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 Oh, wow, that's actually, like, perfect. Huh. Didn't even realize it was going to be perfect, but oh, well, I'm all right with that. Uh, right, okay. Do we have any uh, rope? Rope? Any rope up in here? Yeah, got some rope. Okay, and I want some platforms as well. What's that? Vicious powder. Banishes the hallow. Really? That's, that's pretty interesting, dude. I mean, I kind of want to take this out. Hold on. Uh, no, I want to take these out really quick. And I want to go see what else I could craft the mushrooms. Maybe something. Uh, yeah, sorry. I'm, in, I'm, I'm interrupting your uh, game right there because I want to see what I can do. Right, okay. Uh, yeah, that's perfectly fine. So let's go and make ourselves some of this and then I want to see what I could do with it. Right, so crafting, vicious powder. Uh, oh, bloody spine now uses this stuff. That's interesting. Uh, poison knives. Ooh. Uh, required objects, none. So this is saying I should be able to... Oh, look at this. Uh, 12 damage, 14 damage. Do you know what? Any increase is a good increase, I say. Yeah, very much so. Alright, sweet. Alright, we are not doing a bad job. Okay, so, do you know what we're going to do? We are going... How much defense do we have? 17. We may be able to take down the Brain of Cthulhu today, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I am thinking we can do. 
I feel like we should be able to do this. Do you know what I mean? I just, I just feel like it's something that's possible now. Hmm. Okay. All right. Vicious powder. All right. Okay. Yeah. I think we could take down a Breno Cthulhu. In fact, to be honest, I think that's going to be pretty easy. Yeah. All right. Uh, healing potions looking good. Let's see what other potions I have. Uh, they're all out here, aren't they? Okay. So iron skin. Uh, also it's regen. Yep. Yeah, okay. Sweet. Anything else? Teleportation. Night out. Archery. Hmm. Okay. Gills. Nah. And swiftness. Yeah, I will have the swiftness. Why not? Right, okay, so where is the nearest crimson mine? It's actually not too, too far away. Okay, no worries. In which case, what we're going to do is I'm going to meet you guys over by the crimson mine. And hopefully, we'll be able to get on with doing a bunch of cool things and stuff. And yeah, <laughs> back in a moment, friends. Here we go, guys, inside of the crimson. Let's go down and see what goes down. Yeah, I said down in the same sentence twice. That's not good. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, wow. Look at the amount of altars down here. All right. This is brilliant. Okay. The more altars, the more ores we'll be able to get. Now, one thing I am very much aware of is the fact that uh, the amount of ores that comes out of each of the altars actually decreases the more you go ahead and break them. So, eventually, it's not going to be worth it. But, do you know what? I'll still go for it nonetheless. Oh, my good sweet lord. Oh. Oh. I see me one of them heart things. I do love me one of them heart things. Okay, right, you're dead. All right. Oh, there's so many guys around here. Okay. All right, good day. Okay, what have we got? 320 health at this point. Wow. Okay, we are approaching the pre-hard mode maximum of 400. Obviously, without the, uh, was it life force potions? Yeah. Right, okay. So this is what I want to do. We want to go ahead and blow some stuff up. Here we go. Alright, what was that? Uh, it is uh, an Undertaker. Not bad. Agile, plus speed, not too shabby at all. Okay, sweet. Alright, let's go over here really quick. Oh, good day. Seems like you want to kill me. Would you like assistance with that? I mean, I could always, like, jump down to my death or something. I mean, if that's the sort of thing you want me to do, then uh, I could I could oblige. Although, you know, I'm not going to, because that just sounds like a stupid idea. Alright. Uh, bombs away! Two. That should do the job. Do, 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 do. Alright, what's that? Uh, oh, an armoured panic necklace. Okay, three more defence right there. Uh, what's this got? Guarding blizzard in a bottle arcane. I might replace that, actually. Yeah, alright. 20 defence. Very, very nice amount, if I do say so myself. Alright, let's roll down here. Uh, maybe there's a heart or something. Well, I doubt it, to be honest. Uh, oh. Face monster. LOL! You can't get to me! You're too stupid! Ha! <laughs> what you gonna do? Alright, uh, what's going on around here? Vertebrae? Spitters? Ugh. Ugh, spitters. These disgusting things. Ugh. I hate spiders in real life and on this game. <laughs> Alright, okay, here we go. Uh, hearts, potentially? Nope! Although that'll probably be the thing I break to make the Eye of Cthulhu, no, Brain of Cthulhu spawn because, uh, you know, it's it's easy to sort of escape from, if you get what I mean. As opposed to going ahead and getting myself stuck in one of these big ass chasms, I would very much rather, you know, live. So, yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to try and do. <laughs> okay, here we go. Boom, boom. Let's roll across this way. I'm doing this, of course, so I can, uh, you know, navigate the place just a little bit easier during the boss fight. And, you know, hopefully so I don't fall off, kill myself, you know. That would be very embarrassing indeed, to the point where I would probably cry. All right, here we go. Uh, oh, good day. You're dead. You're dead. Bombs away! Do I have any gel yet? Nope. This is going to be a completely gelless episode, isn't it? This is what I am envisioning. It's going to be a thing. Right, okay, here we go. We're going to summon a brand new Cthulhu, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go! Rotted Fork. Fantastic. I like that, actually. Oh, hi. Hi, hi. Hi, 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 hi. Hi, 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 hi. And buff. There we go. All right, folks. Get wrecked, son! Come on, I got 320 max health. What have you got? Freaking, like, 1,000 plus whatever all your minions have got. Actually, no. Uh, I'm a bit of a... I'm at a bit of a disadvantage on that front, in which case... Wow, look at all them guys. They're getting poisoned. All the ones. <laughs> a 
That's brilliant. Oh man, I should make these things more often. Wow. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on, you weird ass eyeball things of death. Oh, now this guy's been poisoned. Lol. What you gonna do? Oh wow, it just goes straight through him. It like hits him multiple times as well. Awesome. Wow. Oh man, I am totally gonna do a throne let's play at some point, or throne playthrough. There's so many throne weapons in this game now, it's actually a viable class. I mean, there's even viable armor for it as well, isn't there? So, I mean, that's kind of cool. That is very cool indeed, in fact. Hi! You did it! And there we go. Alright, four gold, not too bad. I'm gonna pick up these knives again. There we go, still got more than half of the amount we managed to make, which is cool. There we go! The gelless episode has just ended. <laughs> yeah, because we have gel now and such. Yeah, good stuff. All right, let's roll down here. And I guess while we're doing this, ladies and gentlemen, we can jump into the question of the video. And for today, that comes from a user by the name of Nate Astrop. And uh, his question is, what is your favorite Terraria music? My favorite Terraria music, as in my like absolute top one, would be the Underground Mushrooms background music because I don't know man I, I really love that music there's just something about it it's like a mixture of techno and sort of 8 bits and I don't know man there's just really something about it and I love it very much oh crimson rod that's fantastic that's like a, a, a pre-hard mode Nimbus rod, isn't it? It's fantastic. I love that. It's very cool indeed. Uh, but yeah, it's the Underground Mushrooms by music, followed by the new Underworld music. You know, when you go to hell now, there's new music. I absolutely love that music. It's, it's really, really good. I mean, yeah, it's just really good. That's all there is to it, man. And then uh, also closely followed by the Frost Moon music, you know. You know, all them top th sort of three right there. And yeah, I like it. I like the music. I like the music in Terraria. I really do. And I'm going to pass that question of the video to you guys as well. What is your favourite music in Terraria? Leave your responses in the comments area below. And also guys, if you have any suggestions for the question of the video segment, by all means leave it in the comments area below and have a chance of yours being used and your name shouted out. Yeah, alright. Okay, so it looks like we've run out of hearts to break here. Oh, that sounds terrible. I'm gonna have hearts to break. <laughs> I'm dumping people all the time. Oh no, I'm a terrible person. Alright. Alright, god damn it. The lack of grappling hook is starting to uh, become apparent. But uh, do you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go to another Crimson Biome and we're gonna go ahead and take down yet another Brain of Cthulhu, my friends. So let me get out of here and let's do this thing. Ooh, meteorites! Awesome stuff! I am loving that! Okay. The more meteorites, the better, I guess. Alright, so, here we are in another underground crimson biome of awesomeness. And by the looks of it, we have a one, a two, a three, four, five, six. Okay, is there another heart down the bottom of this chasm right here? There isn't it. Oh my god, there's a bunch. Wow. Okay, so we have more than enough for two more Brain of Cthulhu fights down here. Alright, so obviously we have broken two already, so we need to go ahead and prepare this area for the next fight, my friend. So let's go ahead and prepare this arena. Alright, here we go, guys. The next Brain of Cthulhu has just been awoken. Let's go ahead and chuck down one of these little things right here. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and start poning the crap out of everybody, because, uh, you know, that's a fun thing to do and such. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at the amount of stuff, and we can keep getting our mana back just by killing all of these guys because they keep dropping the regenerative mana stars. This is great. I love this very much. <laughs> oh, I'm not even making an effort right now, guys. I really am not making an effort. Oh, man. Thank you very much for the mana, friendo. Appreciate it. Come on. Oh, 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 now he's got peeved off. Oh, no. All right, let's keep him in this cloud, perhaps. That might be a, a good idea. Or maybe we can have a little bit of the old uh, throwy, throwy knife action. Oh, look at this stuff, man. Look at this. I mean, wrecking his face. Whoever knew a brain could have any sort of face inside it? I don't know, man. That doesn't look like a face to me. It just like, looks like some sort of weird Dalek thing inside of an eye. Or a weird Dalek eye thing inside of a brain. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me. Oh, no, man. I don't know why I'm trying to make Do Doctor Who references out of Terraria. It doesn't make sense, does it? Well, the only thing I know in Terraria that has a Doctor Who reference is the Fez. And actually says Fez is a cool. 
My Hoovian self was very, very satisfied with that when I saw that. <laughs> it was great. All right, boom. There we go. And bada bing, bada boom. A crimson heart. Okay, that's pretty cool. Another crimson heart. Summons a heart to provide light. Oh, wow. Oh, so this is like the shadow warp sort of variant. That's amazing. That's so cool. I've never noticed that before. That's obviously new, so... It's kind of cool. Alright, so we've got another Brain of Cthulhu fight coming up, my friends. Let's go uh, down. Actually, no, I want to try and get a slightly more easy to access one. That'd be a better idea, wouldn't it? Uh, right, okay. I'm thinking the one down here would be easier to access. Right. One. Is that going to be enough? Should be enough. Boom. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. And another, another Brain of Cthulhu and another Crimson Heart. That's three of the damn things we have now. Holy crap. Damn, dude. Alright. Get wrecked, son! A goblin army? Are you for- Oh, this is turning into a two-parter, isn't it? God diggity damn it, man! Alright, I mean, why not? Maybe we can see if the, uh, the, the goblin invasion has changed. That'd be kind of cool if it has, because, well, yeah. 1.3 is a new update. <laughs> Oh my god. And I want to uh, address something if I may. Uh, the reason why I don't know a lot of stuff about Terraria 1.3 is because I don't know a lot of stuff about Terraria 1.3. I prefer going to updates as blind as I possibly can because I find it much more fun that way. So you guys can go ahead and rage all you want in the comment section but if it comes to spoilers and whatnot I'm not going to read them. So uh, yeah. I appreciate tips and uh, hints but uh, if you're going to spoil things then uh, yeah you're just ruining the fun basically and I like to I like, I like to have my fun I do it's how I go it's why I still do YouTube to this day because I still have fun doing it so yeah it's cool goblin army yeah, yeah, yeah I get the blooming message stupid messaging idiot thing oh man all right okay this thing this guy dead yet I need to make more of these blooming knives because they're fantastic Alright, uh, Brenna Cthulhu, Goblin Army has arrived. Oh no, the Goblin Army's arrived. How terrible is that? Now look at that, we can have another Brenna Cthulhu fight if we really wanted to. Huh, interesting. Do you know what? I'm going to spare you guys that because, uh, you've watched me do three now. <laughs> okay, uh, ooh. So, yeah, we need to get back to base. Oh yeah, that's right. I haven't even made a bed yet. Oh, my bad. I haven't even made a bed yet. Do 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 do. All right, guys. Time to get wrecked, son. 